our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States, which is currently in a kind of turmoil because, well, what can I say? It's you know, it's in turmoil. That's all I can say for the, this election. Uh, as, as though everything else this year hasn't been turning this country upside down, this election takes the cake. Okay. But I, oh, the, yesterday uh, we had a pre-recorded interview that we did the day before with an old friend of this program uh, who stopped calling it for a while. So I uh, reached out to him and said, uh, let's, uh, let's talk. And he said, uh, no, not on your life. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Anyway, th- tonight I figured we'd do him live right here. Because uh, um, I called you about a couple hours ago. Yeah. And I said, well, what do you think of the clusterfuck? <laughs> and that's really what this is turning out to be. You know, uh, it, although it was kind of predicted, you know, that we because of let's face it, we have a new way of voting in this country that was brought on by COVID. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people want to vote safely. Um, I think it's a convenient way to vote. And uh, is as long as it's uh, you know legitimate and they haven't mixed in other things, I think that supervision isn't a bad idea. Mm-hmm. And uh, although it sounds a little bit like sour grapes at this point, uh, it looks like I'm uh, in- into uh, Rob, not Rob, uh, Bob for uh, twenty bucks. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's fairly inevitable. You know, last night things were fine. I got up pretty early this morning and I started watching and I started seeing everything kind of turn uh, as they started counting uh, these additional ballots. Well, wasn't this the way we? it was kind of predicted already? Well, in a, in, you know, because uh, for months we've been saying, hey, the first returns that come in are going to be going Trump's way. Right. And well, then when the, the second wave comes in, the stuff that was mailed in and so on and so forth, it's going to go Biden's way. And, and that's and exactly that, what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Although, uh, you know, I, I don't think that uh, you know, uh, mail-in voting is such a bad thing. I've been doing it for years. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I applied for a, a ballot. And, uh, and they, they send it to me every year. It's convenient. Yeah. Uh, uh, oftentimes, I don't uh, on the day of, uh, that you can vote. I you know, sometimes don't have time, but this way I know I'm guaranteed that I can look it over, mm-hmm. put out, send it in. Well, I now, did. I did the early voting. Yeah, you know, we went in. Uh, I think it was about a week ago, and and yeah. cast our vote, and we felt really good about it. It was a great feeling, you know. And having a week to do it, I think all uh, you know, and doing this this early voting. Is yeah. a pretty damn good idea, you know. Yeah, uh, you know other things that were predicted though. Uh, I think the pollsters are going to have to, uh, you know, ask themselves if they should quit their day job, uh, because uh, you know many of the polls. I think they said uh, which state did they say that Biden had it by seventeen percent, and he, you know, he had it by a, a, a few thousand votes. Uh, was that Wisconsin? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so what's happening is, is the polls aren't accurate anymore. And uh, and then I, I was watching and they had Van Jones. Now, Van Jones, I think, was in the Obama White House. Mm-hmm. And he was, and by saying, the way, a very nice guy. I've had him on my show. In, uh, yeah. Uh, he was saying that he was disappointed that it wasn't a route because it really didn't. Uh, say that the the country was unhappy with Trump because it was so close. And, uh, you know, 
I, I understand what he's saying. You no, know, I, I felt I, this. I, hate him. I said this last night, the same thing, you know, that even if Biden wins, I'm disappointed with what I've been seeing here. Yeah. You know. Uh, hey, can I use this bully pulpit for a second? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a uh, Trump coin here that I'm uh, probably going to be able to maybe sell if it has <laughs> a little bit of value. <laughs> I, I also have I have the hat uh, yeah, yeah. slightly worn. And I have the picture that's uh, personalized to me. You know, uh, wh what do you think I can get for this? <laughs> you know? um, um, uh, well, I'd sell it soon. Y yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, because Arizona flipped on him and that really that really hurt him. Uh, I, I, I do have this gold water. For president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what amazed me? Uh, 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 you, 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 Trump got really mad. He phoned up, supposedly phoned Rupert Murdoch. Yeah. And yelled at him for the way, for Fox calling Arizona. Now, uh, it's, it's funny that Fox called Arizona, where yeah. to this moment, MSNBC has yet to call Arizona. Well, the shot caller that Fox uses, uh, mm -hmm. I forgot his name, but he said he was very confident in... Uh, in his call for Arizona. But did you notice that Nevada, Nevada uh, was once called for uh, Biden and then they pulled it back? Um, you know, that that was that was interesting. It doesn't really matter how many votes are there. <laughs> six. And six. that's and, and if Trump wins North Carolina, Georgia and and uh, Pennsylvania as and, and uh, Alaska. Uh, those were the ones earlier that were still open. Uh, plus Nevada, that would put him at 273, I think. Yeah. So uh, without Nevada, he is at 267 and uh, doesn't have. Well, you know where he's dropping like a rock, Trump? Uh, he, no. Georgia. Really? He, had, he was like 600,000 ahead, and now he's only like. 120,000 ahead, and they still haven't counted something like 800,000 votes, which a lot of these late votes always go Biden's way. So he may very easily get um, uh, get get uh, Georgia, which would be very unusual. Well, if Biden takes Georgia, then, of course, Trump doesn't have any, any hope uh, unless he and, tries uh, to validate uh, the... Uh, uh, the results and uh, people who pundits who, who who look at what's happening say that Pennsylvania will be Biden's by at least 150,000 votes. Uh, well, the the math that Lewandowski and a few other people mm -hmm. were using uh, was saying that uh, you know uh, based on the uh, on the last. Oh, did I see a million and a half? I can't remember, but it was a large amount. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I I understand, but you know. Uh, it's there's nothing wrong with having someone represent uh, in the poll mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, the votes are are legitimate. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have no argument with that, you know, you but know, the, but, to, but but like Trump last night at two o'clock in the morning, uh, held, he held a little party. OK. And then he said. I'm really mad because my party's been ruined because of the way they're reporting all of this. I wanted to be, you know, having festivities right now and drinking champagne, and I'm not going to be able to do it. And I'm going, what? Is that what you're mad about? <laughs> you know, is that is that? I, I didn't hear. I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, but, yeah. I but. mean, it was it was amazing. And then then him saying that, and he's asking that the voting be stopped. I guess it goes along with his theory that if you don't test for COVID, then there isn't any COVID. Well, if you don't have any votes uh, voting, I guess you've won. You no, know? what he wanted was, uh, I think he wanted them to stop it so he could put uh, ob observers in the poll, uh, you know, as they as they open up the uh, uh, the letters or the ballots. So... That, do you that, know? Do you know that there is? They're so transparent in a lot of these states right now that you can actually go on a TV channel and see them working on the vote. Well, okay. I can't. You know, as much as I like Trump, I cannot believe. 
that there is this large of cons- conspiracy uh, <laughs> in the vote. You know, I mean, I don't like Biden. Uh, I, I, I wonder, you know, Cam- Camilla, Camilla Harris uh, always kind of giggles and laughs. and uh, It's pronounced you know, Camilla. Yeah, well, maybe she was in on the uh, on the uh, conspiracy. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, she kind of, she kind of, you know, wouldn't answer any questions. She just kind of giggles her way through. But well, uh, I think I think she's I, I know as the as the head of Antifa, which I've announced that I am. Yeah, uh, she's our vice president uh, of Antifa. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. well, uh, yeah. you you have your Antifa card, right? I, yeah, somewhere. I don't know uh, where exactly. You know, but. I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm surprised uh, that he lost. I really thought that he was going to win. Uh, now I know that he's not admitting that he lost yet, but it's pretty obvious. You know, I, Michigan, uh, I, Biden is only needs six. So well, if that's he, if that's if you give him Arizona. MSNBC, who you would think would be jumping the gun on all of this, has not yet given Arizona to him. Oh, but they I, feel they feel there's a good shot that he's getting Arizona because uh, the late votes that come in, the ones that are tabulated because they were mailed in. And so they were doing them last rather than the stuff that were done at polling places yeah. have always been falling on the Biden side. So the, about, they, they they think that's probably the way it's going to go in Arizona. But MSNBC is you have to call for him. Yet uh, Fox has. And uh, a Politico has. So they all say he's within, what, six votes, three votes? Six. Six votes. Yeah. Of, of Well, at least, at least what Fox is reporting, because that's the one I've been watching. Uh, th- there's also, there was a map that you could look at uh, that didn't have anything to do with Fox. Uh, one of my salespeople was, was looking at it today, and we were talking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that showed Biden six away. So, uh now, as far as Arizona goes, he's in the lead there, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the lead. It's not by a lot. But, you know, we haven't gotten that last influx of, of votes, which are all basically coming from Maricopa, where he did very well already. And they think that the late voting is going to really put him over the top there. So Now, when do the military uh, ballots get open? They get open... A week later, something like that. I don't know that they, because they're spread out among, you know, 50 states, if they amount to that much, you know, they might be a handful in each city. Uh, you know. Oh, they uh, they don't go to a base? Or, you well, know, what I'm, not- I'm saying is, is that if you're living in the United States and you're, you know, you, you report to a base every day, but you live off base, yeah. you're just going to vote at a normal polling place or you're going to vote at the base. But this is just people who are overseas. Right. You know. uh, I don't, you know, now to Trump's detriment, he mm-hmm. brought so many people out of Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, those guys could have voted for him, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and would have. Yeah. Uh, also, I read and this was on Drudge that and I don't know that this is true. I, I you know, but I suppose it is. Supposedly, Biden has received more votes than any other candidate in history. Yeah, well, uh, what sixty-seven percent of the of the voting uh, populace have voted? Is it sixty-seven? It's a large amount. I don't know the number, but it's that's you know like forty percent more than what we normally get. Right, isn't it usually about forty-five, forty-four yeah. percent? Yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, it, you know, but I mean, it, it uh, you know, I just think that, you know, and when you when you're saying so, you if you if, if right now you had to take that 20 bucks that you now owe Robert or probably will owe Robert and place it somewhere else, would you place it against Trump? Uh, what do you mean? Against In other Trump? words, do you think he's going to lose this? Yeah. Uh, um, I don't like to give up, you know. Uh, okay, Winston you don't Churchill, like to give up. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking if you uh, think he's going to lose. I don't. I don't think he has a chance in hell of of, uh, <laughs> of staying in the White House, and he better start pardoning some people pretty fast. Yeah, uh, and appoint as many judges as possible. And he, I, I am very thankful for the mark that he has left 
on uh, on the uh, presidency. Uh, yeah, I think it was a positive thing. The judges, the Ninth Circuit Court judges that he put in, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm. Yeah, but that you know, you know something uh, to me that it all pales in comparison to the whole COVID thing and the way he handled it, which was abysmal. It was abysmal. Uh, his communication was poor, but uh, I, I look at it, and I don't think he did a bad job. Well, uh, you know, I mean, he, he, for instance, not wearing a mask sent a bad message to everybody. You know, there are things he could have done. Uh, he, you see, I think he lost because of COVID. All right? Oh, yeah. And I think that he could have won because of COVID, but he You're wasn't right. a smart enough politician and he didn't have the empathy to do anything about it. And he didn't know what to do about it. He, and he wouldn't, and by the way, he wouldn't listen to the, to anybody who knew what to do about it. I understand. Yeah. Uh, now, have you noticed that when he speaks that he has an issue with his nose and breathing, you know, people in 2016 thought he was on Coke, uh, you know, because he, mm-hmm. You know, uh, goes like that through his nose. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Do you think that that's why he didn't want to wear a mask? Maybe he's got a breathing issue. Well, if you do, there are other ways of handling, or you can at least say, "I would wear a mask more often, but I have breathing problems." Okay. Yeah. Uh, for instance, Ronnie, while she was still alive, said to me that you know she hated wearing masks only because she had COPD and it was harder for her to breathe. Okay. Yeah. But she would wear them for a short amount of time. But when she wasn't near anybody, she would lower them. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, He could have accommodated for that. What he did is he didn't set an example to the rest of the country. And he turned not wearing a mask into a political issue, which it should have never become. Yeah. Well, he he made some he made he made some mistakes with COVID. Uh, You know, I, I think he did a lot of good things. But on the other hand, uh, yes, he could have been more empathetic. He could have uh, worn a mask. I don't uh, think, I, to be honest with you, and I'm not saying this because I dislike the man. Uh, I just think he is, in, he, at some point in his life, he had an empathy bypass. I mean, uh, I don't think he, he knows how to be empathetic. I've never seen once in the entire time he's been president a sign of any empathy. Well, you know, I watched him in some of those rallies, and he, you know, he, he was... He was very nice to a number of the people that were yeah, there. Yeah, no, but that's not empathy. I know? understand. It's, I mean, when uh, you uh, let's be honest about it, you may, you may not like Biden, but there is a real feeling of him having a large amount of empathy for people. You mean when he calls uh, people ugly and pony faced dog something or others? And uh, well, I you know, don't know about that. I never heard that he said that, but you know. Oh, come on. I saw it on the thing. I sent you an email today uh, uh, with two yeah. things. One was a clip yeah. uh, uh, of uh, uh, Biden uh, disparaging uh, Indian 7 Eleven and Dunkin' Donut owners. <laughs> And and the other was an article about uh, Obama and, uh, you know, we won, you lost. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you opened it. Well, you know, I, I just think that uh, uh, I think Biden, Biden you, you know, you, you say you don't like the guy, but you got to admit that he handled this whole running for president thing pitch perfect. Yeah, he stayed in his in his basement. Well, not he got out of his basement after a while. And you know, he stopped sniffing little girls' hair. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, you know, he's um we'll see we'll see how he does. Yeah. You know, I mean, if uh, if at least he can calm the waves a little bit. It, it, it stop the the hatred that everybody has for each other, you know, by trying to put in some semblance of decency. I don't think yeah. the hate's going away. Uh, you don't think it's I, going I, away? Oh, I think the right is going to step into the left's shoes and that uh, we haven't seen the beginning of divisiveness that uh, that uh, we've had for the last four years. Mm, well, uh, you, you know, the, the Republicans are going to keep the Senate. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. picked up, what, five seats in the House. That's not enough. No. But uh, they're going to keep the Senate. And, uh, you know, that... That is going to cause some issues with uh, Biden. However, and- however, Biden, having been a senator, kind of knows how to play that game. 
better than Trump ever did. Well, you know, possible. yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons why Obama brought him on as vice president to do exactly that duty. It's the reason that JFK brought on LBJ was because yeah. this was a guy who knew how to work with Congress. He could play Congress like a well-tuned violin, and it didn't matter whether they were on his side or not. Well, you know, he just you know, call him up and say, "You're going to do this." I understand, but LBJ was a different kind of politician than yeah. Biden. LBJ did a lot of stuff. Yeah. What What has Biden done? Uh, you know, I mean, this is what Trump said. What What's he done in the last well, forty years? What What's Trump done in the last forty? Well, he's done a lot. Years. A lot of stuff I like, but you know, uh, look at Biden's record. Uh, he uh, He sponsored some sort of bill that mm. uh, put blacks in jail. Um, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, no, hey, listen, he, listen, look, not a perfect guy. My, my choice for president? No. But I, when I pulled the lever, so to speak, on him or filled in the little oval, the, dot. the little dot, uh, I didn't feel bad about it. You know, and I can't say that's not true with a lot of other people that I voted for. That well, I just voted for them because they were the le lesser of two evils. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, He's, if he's going to be president, which mm -hmm. it is pretty obvious that he that he is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, let him let him do his thing. I mean, I'm not going to like I said yeah. last night, I'm, I'm not going to go down and burn down a building or stop traffic or loot a store mm -hmm. because I'm, you know, unhappy with who's in the White well, House. Well, I'm, I'm just mad that uh, maybe Trump isn't going to win because I can't go out and loot a store now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can. You can. I can. Uh, I'm, I'll work on it. Anyway, hey, listen, um, we got to go to our normal people here. I yeah. love doing this with you, and uh, I hope you call the show. And if you don't, we'll then call you and do these things. Well, you know, you know I, well, I, I like this. You know, uh, it's the, um, uh, the the screaming back and forth and the, and the you know, I, I want to, uh, you know, put a bullet in them, and I want to do yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah yeah that was tony last night i expected the uh the secret service to be at my doorstep the next this morning but he's hiding yeah. but you know they they you know when they went into the kitchen and yeah. they saw that wallpaper uh, yeah. they had to leave right away well, let me let me just leave you with my wish for you that your guy doesn't win how's that <laughs> well, I, I hope he does, but uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't look good at the moment. Well, when you say it doesn't look good, it really doesn't look good. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Let's talk again soon. All right. Take care. OK, bye bye. OK, that's our good friend. Uh, 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 and I want to talk to him tonight because this thing is not over with. OK, it's just starting up. OK. All right, it's time now for us to go to uh, our panel, who are starting to form like crust on uh, on uh, bread. Uh, let me see here. Are they there? Okay. Let me see here. There they go. There's uh, there's Charlie and there's Brian. Hello. Hello. I I guess if uh, if Phil feels that he probably is losing, he's losing. Yeah, that was. That was pretty strange to hear him say that. <laughs> <laughs> every well, you you know you know that. Phil personally, and you know that oh, he yeah. really is not a terrible guy. You know, no, you know he is very nice and yeah. yeah and yeah, no, and here here stuff. comes Robert, and Robert is now twenty dollars richer. I think. <laughs> hey, I got a proposal about that. Um, yeah. I was listening to Phil just now. Mm -hmm. and I, I suggest that uh, if I if I lose and there's still a chance, I will certainly pay my bet. However, if yeah. I win, mm -hmm. my proposal to Phil is rather than going through the uh, self-addressed envelope and all that shit and yeah. going through yeah. you, yeah. if Phil were to give me his word, um, it, it would be good enough for me if he were to donate that 20 bucks to the American Cancer Society in the name of Ronnie Bennett. I think that would be that would satisfy the bet, and I think it would be. Uh, an uh, I will pass thing. that message along to him. Yeah, uh, isn't it interesting it, 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 when Phil isn't in the midst of the citizen panel? He's much more civil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and, no and, comment. What, what, <laughs> he's still uh, wrong. <laughs> he's still wrong, but that yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Jeff. 
If you take the sh- forget about the show, if you talk to Phil directly, mm-hmm. he's a wonderful guy. I bet he, he is. Talk about a whole variety of things. Yeah, he's a very fine guy. But he, the problem is, he believes all this Trump bullshit and Fox TV crap, and he thinks that's reality. Well. You know, I mean, he's not alone. You know, I mean, as I said last night, I think the thing that, you know, even if Biden wins this, I'm going to be disappointed because there were too many people that voted for Trump. Yeah. You know, that that presented with a guy who acts in very immoral ways. I mean, Mm. come on, the Stormy Daniels thing, and I can touch him on the pussy. (laughs) Forget about that part of it. If you want to add to that his lack of... uh, Empathy and uh, his lack of being able to handle the COVID crisis, and we could go on and on, how you can still, after all of that, even as a stupid American vote for him, is beyond me. You know? I mean, it. You, okay, you thought maybe, you know, electing an outsider would make things different. Well, it did. Uh, but not in the way you thought it would. And now it's time for you to say, hey, I was wrong. This time I'm going to vote for Biden. I don't like Biden. You know, I've never voted for a Democrat in my life, but I just don't want this guy to do any more damage to this country. You know? Uh, I mean, Biden isn't my first choice, but the fact of the matter is that at least I think for four years we'll have a little peace and quiet, you know, hopefully. Yes, uh, Charlie. Uh, and plus, uh, I'm sorry, Phil. Biden was in the Senate for, what, 37 or 40 mm-hmm. years or whatever? Mm-hmm. He did do something. You don't hang around for 40 years doing nothing. Well, also, you know, there's a, the, it, it, let me put it this way. Trump had no record when he ran for president. All he had was a TV show and notoriety. Uh, Biden spent all that time in the Senate and had a voting record and had things that he did, some of which weren't good, okay? But, you know, you give him uh, that much time in, uh, in um, uh, 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 the Senate, and he's going to make some mistakes, all right? So anyway. Uh, the Violence Against Women Act is one thing that Biden did that was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we an average person. It, we, it, look, we go back to that. What was that hearing with uh, what's her name? Where the, the yeah, yeah, Anita Hill. Anita yeah. Hill. That, that was embarrassing. Okay, yeah. you know, and a lot of people this day still hold that against him. Oh well, yeah, you know, and they as well they should. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know, when you're in 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 the public eye that long, and you're working as a public servant that long, you're gonna make mistakes. You know, and somehow they come home to roost when you're running for president. So I also think we we don't allow here in America, we don't allow people to evolve. You mm-hmm. know, um, Obama, for example, was on record at some point in his past talking about gay marriage. He was against it. He was against yeah. it. Yeah. Now, do you hold it against him that he once felt that way or do you give the man credit? for having evolved and read the tea leaves about the arc of history, you know, and about the arc of justice. Well, also, uh, you know, he's, he's even said, he said, I was wrong on that one, and now I'm for it, you know. Okay. You know, but but Trump wouldn't do that because Trump doesn't want to admit to mistakes. That's yeah, the he problem. He never say he was wrong. You know, I don't, if somebody's willing to admit to his mistakes, hey, I'll vote for him in a second, you know. And I don't care whether he's left or right, because at least he's willing to own up to his mistakes. Um, Trump is never wrong. You know, Trump is not losing right now. In his mind, he's being cheated out of the presidency. Yeah. Well, the, the, yes, <clears throat> there, there was somebody who plotted against him <clears throat> to be president again. And that was Donald Trump. You know, uh, he's the one who screwed it up. So, whatever. Yeah. You know, yes, Jeff. I think the fact that Biden uh, has higher numbers right now, mm-hmm. uh, he doesn't necessarily 
going to be the winner of this thing. These You're right. numbers are very tight. Well, the numbers are tight, but um, the fact of the matter is, if you it's on who you believe, MSNBC did not call Arizona for for Biden. I, I noticed that a lot of people did. But Fox has, right? Grudge has, Politico has, and that places Biden six electoral votes away from Nevada being president. Away. Huh? Okay, but where do you get the All six points? Hmm? He's Nevada away. Associated Press had Arizona last night at about 1.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean they're not wrong, though. I agree with that. It doesn't Jared. mean they're not wrong. I what they're, think, what they're saying is they don't want to say it yet, but what they have said is that the votes that are coming in, that are going to come in, are the ones that were mailed in. Yes. Uh, and... Uh, those votes, they think, will go Biden's way, that uh, they will be very heavily Biden. So, you know, that's a, that's about it, actually. Mm -hmm. So and, Andy's catching up in Georgia. And a lot of the votes that are, are waiting are, are in Atlanta, the Atlanta County area. Yeah. And that's heavily Democratic. Right. Uh, it'd, be nice, it'd be nice if we got Georgia, too, because then that really separates him and Trump. If Trump gets all those other you know states, it's going to be a 270 to 268, I think. Yeah. So then he's going to cry about it and say something, you know. But if, if Georgia, how many that points does uh, does Georgia actually get by itself? About 16, 16 I think. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. So that'd be a nice little bump there to shut up Trump. Yeah, well, but, but he got thing, that in, in Arizona. I think he's got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got more than he needs if he does that. Um, if he's but, got, but if Trump gets the other ones, he, he's only up by two. And I, I know he wins, but I'm just saying it's very close. And, you know, Trump's going to try to get something overturned. And they say that, change no, that. Yeah, they, you know, last night, Biden gave a speech and he said, don't worry. We think we're going to win this thing. Yes. Yeah, Not right. because we're being optimistic for the sake of being optimistic, but because we know how many votes are outstanding. And if you remember back, we all said that election night was going to look like a win for Trump. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that the next morning we would wake up and find out it was the other way around because that's all right. those other votes came in from people who voted in advance. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what's happening. In Georgia now, he is... Uh, it was 33,000. Huh? Yeah. 31,000 behind. He's 31,000 yeah. behind, and there's still something like what? Oh, yeah. Uh, a, a, just a ton of votes to come in from yeah. from uh, from Montgomery. Uh, excuse me. Uh, for, from what's the main city? Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, so that's going to be a big deal. Uh, I think that he's probably going to win uh, uh, Georgia. They say... The people who are on Biden's side, that there's a good chance he could win Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. by Pennsylvania. I know. because oh of the ton of votes waiting to come in for by an Delta. amazing amount. Yep. By an amazing amount. Carville says 150,000 mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania. by 150,000. Yeah. So, See now, yeah. I want those for this reason. I want those because if he wins Pennsylvania and or Georgia, it makes the recount in Wisconsin a moot point. Yeah. yeah. And it yep. diffuses that whole bunch of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Too many places for him to try and uh, exactly. you know, get him. <laughs> and then he's, is, is, yeah. I Shut agree. up and go home. Lose like a exactly. man. Exactly. <laughs> I tried to get an answer Start today about what happens if they come out equal. Well, then, then it goes to the house. It goes to the house. It goes to the house. It goes to the house is what Pam told me. So. Yeah. So that, oh. that problem is solved. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. no way it could come out even with the no. states that are there. Right. No way. But, it, you know, it, it's going to be, it, it, I, I hope, that the, the whole thing comes out the way we want it to. Uh, it looks good, you know, uh, and uh, 
last night I went to bed kind of depressed. You know, I had to take a, I had to take a Xanax to go to sleep. I was so you know. And, it's a long time for and, me to go to sleep. And then I felt like shit all day uh, as a yep. result of it. Uh, and uh, uh, I, but I woke up this morning and I turned on the TV set. What? Was, he took he took Wisconsin. Right. He stayed up at four in the morning. And then a couple of hours, a couple of hours later, uh, I hear Michigan. That's right. Go, and I'm wow. going, okay, that's, you know, that's big numbers. We're in the game. And you know that except for one brief moment last night, Biden has always been out front in this whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know. What I'd like to see happen is I'd like to see him win Georgia. I'd like to see him win Phil uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I'd like to see him win uh, was it South Carolina as we're talking about? North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, and um, uh, uh, I'd like to see him win uh, Arizona and Nevada and just make Trump feel like crap. That would put him over 300 electoral votes. Yeah, put put himself way over 300. And you're right. If he can take Georgia, if he can take Pennsylvania, then go ahead, sue in uh, in Wisconsin. It doesn't matter. You're wasting your time. But you know he's going to sue in Pennsylvania, and you know he's going to sue in Georgia. You know, but what's he suing for? He's suing for them to stop the, the you know, the tallying of the votes. How, you can't do that. Even the Supreme Court will tell him, get your ass out of here. They, they were talking about uh, stopping the vote in, um, stopping the vote in Michigan. And you no, know, in Michigan when he was behind. And so they're going, yeah, okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> we'll stop the vote, you're behind. Stop the count. Yeah, the count. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll stop. stop we'll be happy to stop the vote in Nevada. Stop the vote yeah. in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. You know, go ahead. Stop it, and then we'll just uh, take the results from there. Okay, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm here tonight to announce that I won the Boston <laughs> Marathon. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm here to announce tonight that I've won the Boston Marathon. Right. right. Yeah. You start a block. Doesn't that just? Doesn't that just? Top off Trump. I mean, I mean, you know, his first lie was, you know, 3.5 million people at his inaugural, and his yeah. last lie would be, I won the election. I won the election. Not on a high note. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, he um, he is not going to go easily. And I'm worried about the next uh, 90 days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, if if Biden wins, because he can do a lot of damage in ninety days. Mm-hmm. In this case, just by doing nothing. I mean, today, what is it? We hit a hundred and five thousand. Yeah, a hundred and five hundred and five thousand cases of COVID today. I don't think Biden's going to be quiet. Hmm? I mean, I, I think Biden's going to. I mean, you you heard him today. I mean, he sounded very presidential already, you know, and I think he's going to start talking to everybody and say, you know, we've got to work together. We need to start doing this mass stuff and we start, got to start doing some of these things. You could hear him in his voice today about, you know, I'm not I'm not winning as a Democrat. I'm winning as a or I'm going to, you know, uh, run as an American. And I think he's going to start gearing everybody already. I'm going to be the president of all America. They've got they've got on MSNBC right now <clears throat> Trump last night. Did you see that? Uh, I saw that shit live. Yeah. I almost vomited. Yeah, I had he to turn it off. Night, I like had to turn it off. Three thirty in the morning. I had to turn it off. I mean, I thought he was on drugs, man. Yeah. He was nuts. I mean, oh gee, I was planning on having a happy party here, but now yeah, they won't like, let me do that because they didn't no. come in with the votes tonight. <laughs> You know, he declared victory. Alex, did you hear Chris Christie last night? He actually had a pair of balls on him last night. In yeah. the thing. He yeah. actually said he shouldn't have said that because he can't stop any vote counting. No, he can't stop any vote counting. Well, Kevin. Hello, Kevin, who's been watching our poll watcher, Kevin. Did you, did you cheat in poll watching? Any illegal activity going on? Uh, it got kind of exciting for a while on Saturday. How'd it get exciting? Uh, we had a, a poll rally. I mean, a poll rally. Shit, I can't even. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. 
He's a little tired. We had a Trump rally here in town, mm -hmm. and about 400 cars got together downtown. We're pretty redneck down here. And they had a big rally down downtown, mm -hmm. and we had four sites in the county. I was running one of them. We ended up being the biggest one. And uh, they decided that they were going to uh, drive around and buzz all the, the polling sites. <laughs> And so they went by the county site first and went by the Veterans Center second and then went by uh, one of the other sites. And they never went by our site, but they sent the cops out and the whole bit. And uh, I got, kept getting these alerts. I came home for lunch. I'm about a mile or two away from the church that I was at. And I came home for lunch and they said, you got to get back there. And so I bolted back over in my truck and I was standing out there on the high. We're on a it's kind of a back road into town and in and out of town mm -hmm. and I went out there with my truck and blocked the driveway and everything else and a couple of them went driving by with their trucks and the whole bit and, but they never came in and so I called the county and told them you know and I didn't see nothing over here and everything's good and they had made their rounds and my wife was taking the cat to the veterinary and they saw him come through there and yeah they stirred up a lot of shit in town wow. and never came by our place but i come to find out that uh the guy that the republican um the republican uh group out here that mm -hmm. was running the whole thing his daughter was working for me <laughs> she was a high school gal no, good kid. really good kid and she was working for me so i have a feeling they decided not to come by my site because she was there oh, boy. which was pretty cool yeah right cops coming in all the time and everything it was it, it really was to be honest with you it was really an exciting election well you know something you know, that i don't get it used to be that on election day you mm -hmm. weren't allowed to do any electioneering on television or radio or whatever well and there is there is a 100 foot electioneering well uh, but that's the point that's the point because yeah. radio and television signal, right up to that because mark. because radio and television signals get everywhere yeah, and you can go right up to that 100 foot mark and do what you want. But, and I had when I was watching, of course, of all things on a on a, let's see, it was it was on election day. Mm -hmm. We had uh, threats that there was going to be you know Republicans coming in and and trying to watch the 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 process, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. And I have a book that I got to follow all these procedures and. One of the procedures is, you know, that you have, if you have somebody that's coming in to observe, you have to have them sign in and the whole bit mm -hmm. and uh, whether it's the press or whatever. And this, you know, I had a couple of people come in and I was watching because we had a funeral going on at the same time of all things. And the mm -hmm. funeral was going on outdoors. <laughs> so I had to navigate this flood of cars coming in and a funeral and I didn't want to disturb the funeral and it was a big long driveway into the site. So I was moving this whole checkpoint mm -hmm. up the driveway to say, which, where are you going to the funeral or vote funeral or vote? <laughs> wow. How long, how long did people have to wait to, to vote? In our place, I kept it down to about three or four minutes, but we had a help oh, desk. Really? No, I'm talking about in the line. That's what I'm talking about. Really? The line. Wow. We were moving them pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. We had a pretty big site. There was probably, I think we had uh, 16 or 17 voting areas. Half of them were electronic and half of them were paper. Mm -hmm. And um, then we had a help desk, but the help desk was backed up. Mm -hmm. And there was 15 or 20 minute wait. And the help desk was either not registered, you had a problem with your registration or a first time registration. And that was backed up quite a bit because people were first time registering. And that was pretty neat because, you know, kids were walking up and going, I never voted before. I want to vote, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought that was neat because, you know, that means that the youngins were getting involved. Yeah. So, hey, Kevin, where, where, where do you live? Gilroy? Well, I'm down in Hollister. Hollister. In okay. San Benito County. Yeah, I know Hollister. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> uh, it's a pretty big county and it's it's got uh, it, conservative. It's it's pretty democratic, but it has a big hole of uh, conservatives. 
Yeah. And they come out of the woodwork and, you mm -hmm. know, there was posts on the, uh, there was posts on Facebook, like, what are you going to wear for the Civil War tomorrow and stuff like that, you know, on, on Facebook, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, but, you know, it's amazing. Uh, if you look at the California vote, it was like, what was it, 75% uh, uh, Biden? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, it was just blue. At least, yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, very on. blue. And here it was 75%. And yeah. I'll tell you, it was just, you know, and I hate to profile, but, you know, you could tell who was voting that day. Mm -hmm. Uh there was, you know, Tex came in with his pickup truck and, you know, his boots. And so you would say they came up. the Trump people did day of, right? Yeah. 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 It was, it was, well, you see, that's I why mean, they Trump. that's why they think he's going to take Arizona. OK. Yeah, that's yeah. California. I don't know if you see that's California. So, yeah, the northern northern California was very Republican in Fresno. <laughs> yeah. And we're just on the in that picture. We're just on the left of that. Yeah. Where in Northern California? Certainly not up around Mendocino. Yeah. So yeah. Like, really? Redding, all that area up there is Republican. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I have a friend. But they've got the pot. They, they, has they, marijuana. Got, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. They got the pot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a dispensary, and she's Republican. She's hardcore Republican. I know her from her dad and everything, and she deleted me off Facebook. And I'm like, how could you vote for the Republican and be smoking weed and everything? It's so it's so it's so out of whack up there. It's funny. <laughs> Robert, how'd you feel about this last night? Were you getting depressed over it? No, no, because I, I, I listen. I my part of my livelihood was to trust numbers, and I trusted the numbers, and I knew that the early returns were going to look unfavorable. But I was trusting that um, in the end, Michigan and, and, and Wisconsin were going to start to make things look better. And about 1 o'clock, 1.30, I was doing a Zoom call with my son who's in China at the moment. And we kind of saw the path about 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I started to get, you know, I started to feel a whole lot better because it was clear that he was starting to, uh, collect some of those votes. And I'll so, tell you. I'll tell you the person that kept me sane last night, oddly enough, and I haven't liked him up until now, is Steve Kornacki over at MSNBC with his big board. But he yeah. was drilling down in such a way that it made everything look a lot better. In other words, he said, "Don't, don't, don't write off Michigan yet." You know, I mean, look, they haven't even gone into Detroit yet, and here this place hasn't been, and blah blah blah, and. Once these start coming in, the whole thing may turn around. And sure enough, all the things that he said would turn around, turned around. Well, Carville was good, too. When yes. Carville, would, Carville <laughs> kept saying, put down the razor blades. I, that was, that was, that was perfect. He yeah, was talking terrible. us off the ledge last night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. what's what what stupid is I suddenly went, God, what, an, what a moron I am, because we were saying early on, yeah. The first yeah, yeah, wave yeah. would be Trump people, okay? And yeah, was... and you could tell that that might have been set up because, you know, typically Republicans vote on election day, and yeah. you can tell that that's what was happening. And I think that's what the quote unquote blue or you know the the red wave was going to be, because uh, he was he was trying to hide that and say, okay, surprise, look what happened, but that wasn't quite enough he proclaimed himself the winner last night he yeah. did and i sat up and watched that and I, was, I didn't go to bed until we heard from him and i was wasted last night and i waited until he, until he talked and i looked at that and i went dude you're on something because i'm now that i've seen this you're, i'm going to bed <laughs> in, in fa in i fact, just got off a call hmm? i just got off a call with china for a new plant over there and we're only a quick half hour when we end up talking like a lot of politics, but they say that there's a cartoon, you know, I'm sure it's everywhere, but they show all the world, all the world has popcorn and they're all just staring at the U S. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Popcorn. <laughs> oh. See, I, I also think on some level, Democrats not only wanted to win, but they wanted blood. And I yeah, think yeah, yeah. when in the first hour, there wasn't a total bloodbath. I think that's where Democrats and left-leaning people started to panic. 
Yeah. Oh my well, God. A friend up in Oregon. The bloodbath. The bloodbath is. To, yeah. You know, the fantasy wasn't coming true, but the fantasy was unrealistic. You knew there were a lot of Trump voters out there. Period. But the bloodbath well, is the bloodbath is wait a minute hold on a second the bloodbath is coming because uh, the the vote that um, uh, that's coming out now in sheer numbers uh, it isn't the Biden something like four million ahead or something like that in the yeah, popular vote yeah. I mean that's a resounding throbbing of him I mean. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think that he's going to win because I don't think he can win the Electoral College and be that far behind. But, you know, Alex, you know what I'd like to add, see? Mm. Yeah. Trump outperformed Robert. Did anybody think Trump was going to pull 65 million? I'm in shock over that. He did better drawing this time than last time in a pandemic. But the numbers were up totally so, yeah, yeah. But we have a pre-voting. But that pre-voting was up. We all thought the Democrats were coming for, were coming for the landslide. When you see pre-early voting, uh, we figured we were going to get. We, we figured we were going to get the Senate. And the we, early yeah. voting was all yeah. Democratic. He got everybody to go to the polls the day of. It looks like. You know, it, it's a shame that we're not going to get the Senate, and we probably lost a few seats in the House. But to get rid of Trump, that's. You know, that's fucking yeah. got sin. And we can work on getting the Senate in two years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm just sorry told... to see Lindsey Graham win. Yeah. Uh, McConnell he... win. Uh, uh, Mitch McConnell Warren. was going to win. It's Kentucky for crying out loud. Those guys yeah, are... That, those guys that are... The candidate uh, was a great candidate. The lady with the... the Marine background yeah. or the Air Force background. On the other yeah. hand, you got uh, Mark Kelly down in Arizona. Yeah. He looks like he's That's gonna good. have it okay. You know. That's good. Yeah. Um, and oh, Alex, uh, did you see Rudy today in Philly? Oh, please. My mother's dying for him to have a coronary on the end. Those eyes <laughs> yeah, are gonna right? out of his fucking head. Holy he shit! <laughs> he must have so much dirt on Rudy that he's digging so deep a ditch. Yeah, he has no he credibility says, with Rudy. He None says, zero. what do you think, we're so fucking stupid? I said, yes. <laughs> Alex, here's a question. Yeah. Now, Kevin, do you, do you really think these, I mean, of course we know fraud happens in the voting, but do you really think these people inside these halls, these workers who are just working for the day, are taking these votes and just throwing them or getting rid of them? Come on. Nope, that not is, at all. Look, even, even, even Phil, uh, who, you know, usually, you know, takes the pro-Trump side, said the notion that this was railroaded, that this was robbed from Trump is wrong. You know, that people just didn't vote for him. You know, mm -hmm. well, how can I lose? Well, you can lose because you didn't do a good enough job. The experiment's the over. The experiment's over. Uh, the, 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 when people, we, the, the people that uh, decided to try it decided... It didn't work. Let's go back the other way. And the question is, when you asked what have you, when he asked what have you got to lose? Well, you found out now. Yeah. You know, like your life. That's for starters. Yeah. Grandparents, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I mean, it's it's uh, it, you know, uh, but it, it, what's happening now? This is you know, this is eating away at me too because we're just waiting for the win. You know, I like the waiting though now because he's making him twist in the wind. He's got to sleep on it on the night. Well, I think they know from their internal polling what's going to go on. You know, yeah. well, you think he'll give him a call, Alex, and say congratulations? Look, why are you life. why are you trying to stop uh, uh, stop voting? What uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, tabulating in these uh, various states uh, if you're if you think you're winning, right? Yeah. You know, well, you're trying a, to stop it because you, it's like it's like stopping a, a a baseball game in the seventh inning. Yeah, or, I'm you know, you're losing, losing, you're losing the ninth you're inning. And you say, that. "Let's go back to the seventh inning because yeah. I was winning that." Well, yeah. no, but his whole you thing know, it, it's the, the same thing. He he did it with uh, COVID, where he said, "You know, we, if we do testing, that's why we've got more cases." Well, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, because people because we kept counting the votes, uh, I kept getting less. Uh, but if we stop, <laughs> if we stop the voting, way. I'll get more. He's a spoiled brat. That's I it. think, I think that, that speech last night just nailed his coffin. 
to be honest with you. Well, if he given that, well, even conservatives were lambasting him for that. Speech. If he had yeah. given a speech yeah. like that yeah. beforehand, it would have been a trouncing, you know. Well, and, and on top of it, I was watching Fox the whole time. Mm-hmm. I watched Fox the whole time and listened to him sit there and smuggle and whine and and all that. And then he came up and did that. And I go, this just made my night. And yeah. I said, now I can sleep well. I don't <laughs> care what the what it says. If I'm waking up happy in the morning. And then all this other shit started happening. And, the, and all the colors are changing. And I'm going, ooh, <clears throat> this is fun. Yeah. Does anybody else see delicious irony in the fact that Arizona may fuck him after all the years of him putting down John McCain? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Well, they say that's the thing that put the nail in his coffin in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. You know, you they, know what? They, they loved he's, John McCain. Just loved him. Yeah, bad know? move. And here's another question I can give you guys. The virus came back to bit him in the ass because if there was no COVID, he wouldn't have had the mail-ins. Yep. He might have had a better chance. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we found a whole. Right. I, I think it, it, the pre- early voting and the mail-in thing is going to become a custom. Yep. Uh, I think where there's no going yep. back on that one. I think we nope. changed the way we vote, so we're going to have to change the metrics on how. In fact, none of them changed the metrics on um, on how they were campaigning. They should have campaigned. For people who were going to vote early, in other words, mm-hmm. you know, don't go to these states at the last minute. That's wasting your time because you know. Well, huh? I'll tell you one thing I did yeah, see yeah, yesterday. True, it doesn't pay. You're not going to be voted. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll tell you one thing I did see yesterday is that the paranoia that they put into these people was out there. Mm-hmm. I had more questions and more people pull me off to the side with their ballots in their hands. And they're saying, where is it going to go? What's that blue box? How is it going to get there? They were, they were so paranoid that that box was part of the mail. Mm-hmm. I had people come in with their ballots all wrapped up in an envelope, mm-hmm. ready to go and be dropped off. And they would rip open the envelope and say, I want to vote in person. Yeah. I had one guy that I could not convince to sign the EPB, which the, was the sign in, uh, you sign in, mm-hmm. you get your ballot, They dupl- mm-hmm. we duplicate the ballot, or you go over and use the electronic mm-hmm. machine mm-hmm. and vote. Then you walk over and you drop it in the box. You take your mail-in <clears> ballot <throat> home, and I always tell the people, you can color it, you can frame it, you can do what you want with it. It's <laughs> junk now. <laughs> and they can... You know that's your ballot is in there so there therefore you cannot duplicate your vote mm-hmm. and this guy would not do that he wanted to take his ballot that he got in the mail mm-hmm. he wanted to walk it over to the box put it in there with his ink with his paper that he put on this thing mm-hmm. and put it in the box and i said sir it's not going to count no i put my ink on this paper I said, sir i'm telling you it's not going to count you can do that but it's not going to work I made this ballot. I put it in. It's an, it was an older fella. Mm-hmm. And I kept trying to tell him, it's not going to work. And he put it in there, and he walked away. And I went, I had to write it up as a problem. Yeah. Put it in the box. Write it up as a problem. Turn it into the county. You're going to have a dead bo- you know, ballot in there. But what was that it? was what, one. Was, this a, ballot he ma- was oh. this a ballot he made up himself? No, these are ballots you get in the mail yeah. that you're supposed to do and then put back in the envelope and then send it in or yeah. drop it off. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. It was an official ballot, but he took it upon himself. There was no identification on it. So he just wanted to walk in. He dropped it into the box. Oh, with, without the envelope that you put with it nothing. in? With nothing. Right? Oh, that's Here awesome. it is. I did it at home and I'm going to hand it to you. With nothing. And that's I kept trying to explain it, but he didn't trust anything. Why? He why? Why? Yeah, why why do they have you put an envelope inside an envelope? Is there a reason behind that? Yeah, so your ballot is secret. Secrecy. Yeah. Secrecy, Secrecy plus envelope. the fact that it, it 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 proves that when they when they when your name is on that envelope, it it checks you off the list that you voted. Yeah. Because, then when they take it out, it's it's a it's a blank piece of paper and they run it through the machine. Because I was you've thinking already been I was, checked I, off I, as your I, I was thinking of all these people um uh who were um uh, uh, tabulating and having to open up the envelope and then open up another envelope and all the time that takes. 
you know. Mm-hmm. There well, might it's be actually, a, there no, might it's actually be... one envelope. It's just one envelope. But well, it's no. a two-step process. When you mail it in, they take it out of the envelope that you mail it in. Then they have to open the other envelope days later, or even weeks later. To I count see. Okay. Yeah. 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 We don't do that in California. Yeah. This here is the yeah. envelope. That's yeah. the envelope Yeah. that you return it in. And this is the ballot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he took this ballot yeah. and he dropped it into the box and it was in this envelope. Mm-hmm. It was ready to go. And he took it out and I said, you need to have it because that's your identification in this envelope. Mm-hmm. And it has your name and everything in there. But when you get it, when they take it, <clears throat> take it to the, uh, to the, uh, the drop-off box, it's got your ident- your identification on it, and then they run it through the machine, and then pull this out, and then run this through the machine, and that counts the votes, but this knocks you off the list that you voted. Yeah. So that's your that's your checks and balances right there. Right. right. But I don't blame the guy on some level, because that's the atmosphere that's been created. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Exactly. And it happened all day, Robert. Yeah. It happened all day long. I was asking, constantly asked questions. I had one guy that didn't want to do it, and I finally convinced him, sure, you can take that thing out of the envelope. But he, he had it all ready to go. He had it signed. It was done perfectly. I said, all you have to do is drop it in the box. But he said, no, but what do you do with that box? I said, I pick it up. We have two people that escort it to the county, and it gets opened up under security, and it gets put into you know the whole system. That's where it gets counted. We don't put it in the mail. And he says, I don't trust it. And then what did he do? He went through the whole voting process and took the ballot that he printed and put it in the box. <laughs> the same box that he didn't want to put the envelope in. Yeah, but this paranoia, the paranoia that that, mm. that Trump caused, hit people. And then I had a lady out there. I explained to her for 15 minutes. She had this scenario. My grandfather was worried that someone came in and told them that he was, um, that they were them, and they said because we are not allowed to ask for ID. So you go in and say I'm John Smith. Okay. You know, we don't tech particularly. I'm at 12345 Main Street. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they sign on 12345 Main Street. They go in and they vote. That checks them off the list. Now, in the meantime, she's filled out her ballot and put it in the mail. It hasn't reached the county office yet. So now she's worried about whether her vote is going to count. It gets canceled out. Well, you can call the office and see if your vote has gotten checked off yet. Mm -hmm. And if it has, you can intercept that. So Mm -hmm. there's a check there, but you have to be paranoid. You can always check your, you know, check your receipt. I I like what uh, what Robert says is happening in New Jersey, that you can actually just go online and see that your vote has been tabulated. Yeah, I've got that that app too. It's called the, yeah. However, In the case of New Jersey, by time, in many cases, by time it was listed as received, the election was already over. So, yes. in effect, if they didn't get your vote, you were fucked. <laughs> so, if you dropped it in the box, say, five business days before Election Day, mm-hmm. you might not find out that it had yet to be received. And now it's two days after the election yeah. and you're screwed. But you that's can't on you about it. So that's on it's you got for waiting so long. Too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but if you check before the end of the election, yeah. Yeah, you Jeff. Check before the end of the election, they can cancel that out. Jeff. They can react. Yeah, to in Connecticut, we we sent them in, physically, put them in this container, and then I think in two days we checked on the internet, and it. Our names were there that you guys have now now voted. Okay, so I mean, and, and when you a say a, a box, what were these special voting boxes? Yeah, they were kind of a, yeah a metal. I don't know. I don't think we have those in New York. Yeah, and I I was the last voter. I always make myself the last voter in the county at eight o'clock on whatever night you know election night, and I put I put the last one in because I like to be the last one in line, hmm. and I did that. 
and I signed up for that thing and I went home and I plugged it in and it was online. It showed me. There a you go. Yeah. Wow. That's in our case, it took too damn long. So they have to refine that in, in the case of New Jersey. Yeah. They, they also have to refine things here in New York State because the lines were hellishly long. Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, we're in a we're in an outside county, yeah. so it wasn't that yeah. bad. But Charlie, fifty yeah. percent voted already. I dropped my uh, mail-in ballot off. I had to drive fifty-mile round trip to do it, thanks to Governor Abbott. Yeah. But I dropped it off in the in my in the mailbox at the at the uh, voter registrar's office. And I did that on October the 6th. On October the 8th, I could go online and it showed we have received your ballot. On October the 12th, it told me your, val your ballot is valid and your vote will be counted. Yeah. And on October the 28th, it told me your vote was counted. Hmm. Texas started counting before election yeah. day, the mail-in yeah. I take back what I said. In New Jersey, we could look online, and a couple of days later, it said received, but that didn't mean it was approved. The approval didn't come until about six or seven business days later. And yeah. so many people probably got caught knowing their ballot was received, but if you had forgotten to sign it, for example, mm -hmm. yeah. you might have not have known that until the election was over in but our that yeah. That doesn't negate it, though. It suspends it. Oh, is that right? Yes, because I had that happen to me last year. It will suspend it. And if you get, they'll give you seven days to get your signature straightened out. I and see. then if you get it back to them, you fax mm -hmm. it back to them with the correct signature, I see. then it will it'll go through. I see. Yeah. In, uh, in uh, New York, if you don't sign it, or if it's been thrown out or whatever, they will contact you and tell you it's been thrown out. Yeah. So you have the opportunity to go to your polling place and vote there. Okay. Yeah, it's not thrown out. It's suspended. It's kind of held up there and you can do something about it or let it ride. Let yeah. it go. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I this year I voted feeling good about voting, but only because... I've never felt that great about voting because I go, hey, here in New York, look, I'm going to vote for Obama. Of course, New York's going to go for Obama. Uh, you know, what do I need to vote for? Uh, it, it, it's a fait accompli. But this year, I just wanted to add to the numbers. You know, mm -hmm. I want that was my form of giving the finger to yep. uh, uh, to uh, 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 to Trump and. Um, so I felt good doing that, you know. I felt I felt good, good working it. I just, uh, I, you know, I went four days. We did eight to five, eight to six every day from Saturday till <clears throat> Tuesday. And then we did 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday. It was yeah. a long, and, and every day that we thought was going to be quiet, mm -hmm. it was not busy but it was boom 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 people how many how many, how many days of early voting did you have we went from saturday from halloween saturday sunday monday and tuesday okay in person voting yeah. did you get paid for it at all yeah. yeah we had three weeks of early voting in texas three weeks of early voting. well we these, yeah. these were official poll poll centers that were open the county was open for god i think it was a month but official poll centers. We said, or you can go vote in person. Yeah, we had three weeks of that. Let me ask yeah. you this, Charlie. Uh, but there was four poll centers. Let me, let me ask you this. Um, in Texas, do you feel it's slowly going blue? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, while, uh, tr while Trump won in Texas, uh, it wasn't an easy win. It wasn't no, like it was a, close. Yeah. Closer than it's ever been. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean... Somebody made the point, Charlie, that if Beto had run for the Senate, he may have lifted Biden. Do you agree with that? Um, I think... Well, the probably... I don't know. I don't... A lot of Democrats voted. So I don't, I don't know. Well, they say, they say if, if uh, Mark Kelly uh, it, it wins that Trump, uh, the Biden 
rode his coattails in Arizona. You know, because yeah, well, they were sense, yeah. because well, they were going to the polls to vote for Mark uh, uh, Mark uh, what's his name um, and uh, Kelly, yeah. and uh, stayed to you know as long as I'm here, okay, Democrat, Democrat, yeah, or, you know. So that's the reason why they also think he's going to win. Oh, okay. that was my <laughs> badass pin they gave us this year. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. I like the pin. That was cool, Captain. That is nice. Oh, it was a pin, a pin every election. Of the Captain team. Stopper. No, nah, I was looking more at the pin. I don't care about the captain. <laughs> the captain means you take all the shit. You know, if Trump loses, you know what I'm going to miss about him? Watching him dance. <laughs> He's yeah. such, he dances, as a white guy, he dances just like a white guy. Just like a white guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. You know, I, I, I want to share a laugh with you guys. Somebody, a friend of mine this weekend on Facebook um, wanted to remind everybody to set the clock back an hour. Mm -hmm. And the way he said it was um, setting the clock back an hour in 2020 is a little like a bonus track on a Yoko Ono album. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, what was it? I, what, what was it? He 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 did a tweet where he was talking about the polls, and he spelled it P O L E S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P O L E S. Yeah, yeah. Brian got all over him for that. <laughs> why are you picking on Polish people? Yeah, why are you picking on the <laughs> Polish people? Yeah. I, I guess Trump won't tell us his health care plan now. No. Well, no. you know yeah, something. He'll tell, he'll tell the news. Uh, that will be one out. of the great mysteries of life. Okay, what would his medical plan have been had he told us what it was? Don't get sick, or you're going to die. Yeah, well, that, that's probably what his plan is. You know. Oh, and, and now COVID's going to go away. Remember, if he's not elected, watch. This is going to disappear mm -hmm. after the election. Yeah. So. It, well, this uh, is after the election. Right, it's supposed to be gone and today, today there were a hundred. <laughs> there are one hundred and five thousand cases. I don't yeah. think it's going to go away. My no. my excuse yeah. around the house lately is like my wife will say, "Honey, could you take out the garbage?" My answer is, "Yeah, as soon as the audit is finished." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very oh, by soon, the, by the way, when the vaccine comes out. In, That's right. It, it, they're showing Nevada and they're showing Clark County. PD illusion. And they said there was a there was a category there of no vote, none of the above. In fact, let me back that up. I just yeah. want to I want to see what it what it said. Uh, come on, uh, here we go. Here we go. Go back. Go back. Come on. I just want. Come on, Tony. Let your mom talk. She said, did he lose you? <laughs> None of these candidates. Come on, get her on the camera. Okay. We don't believe she's there. Yeah, okay. Get her on the camera. Here's what <laughs> None of these candidates. Yeah, here's what they've got. Uh, in Clark County, which is Las Vegas, uh, Biden's at 52.9%, Trump at 454 and then it says none of these candidates, 0.8%. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I've been arguing about that for years, that we should have that on every ballot. Yeah. And I guess that's on the ballot in, uh, I, I would imagine, in all of Nevada. You know? So anyway, that's that's what's happened in Clark County. And then if, if none of the above gets to a certain percentage, mm -hmm. then we should cancel out those two candidates and we have to get two new ones. That's right. That's what I've been saying. That'd be years. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then it gets stuff done finally. And not every state does things the same way, though. In um, in Maine, they've got you vote for a second choice. Okay, mm -hmm. so that if there is a, if nobody reaches fifty percent, they go to the second choice and factor them in. Yeah. And pick pick Rank the winner. Rank voting, yeah. Yeah, right. rank voting. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that, that, that was uh, pretty spectacular. I think they should do that. If they did that, the third parties could get a lot more power then. Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. The third party. Absolutely, because if people were to, like, vote as their second choice, somebody who was uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the, what do you call it, the... Uh, uh, 
uh, as the a second choice. Or the the, Green Party. Yeah, yeah. It, it, my, we, my favorite part of today was I didn't see a single goddamn political ad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what's back? And in the mail too. All, Nothing. all the, uh, all the um, insurance ads. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's that, right. Ta- it's that, really it's that season. Okay, mm-hmm. and since my union screwed me on our our stuff, and I have to go get my own insurance, I'm watching those ads now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Joe Namath. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's free. Like yes, uh, John. Yeah, Fox News has called Arizona for. Uh, Biden. They, they did. Go. I think they did, they did that did, last oh, night. A long time. They, they've had done oh, that really? for quite a while. Yeah. Last night. Yeah, they yeah. did that like at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Before I went yeah. to sleep. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's fucking weird. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we got uh, uh, in uh, Arizona, uh, Biden at fifty-one point eight percent, Trump at forty-six point eight. Oh, that's in Maricopa County. Uh, Which is more than half of uh, Arizona. Yeah, but still, he's at fifty point seven percent, and uh, Trump's at forty seven point nine, so he's three percent behind. So uh, looks so like, yeah, it looks like it looks. I think he's going to get Arizona. Okay, I don't think these guys would be calling Arizona if it didn't look like he was going to get Arizona. Uh, but uh, and, but that's what that's exactly what Trump called Rupert Murdoch about to yell and scream. How could you yeah. do that? How could you say that Arizona went? Blah, 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 blah. And Murdoch told him to fold it five ways and put it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> put know? it with the health care plan. You, you, you don't complain to Rupert Murdoch. He doesn't give yeah. a shit. Yeah. You know, the gall. <laughs> and Kanye Kanye West says he's looking forward to 2024 already. Ah. Oh really? <laughs> Did he concede? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. And Charlie always said, "Charlie, what'd you say?" I don't. What? No, uh, no. Who's black, vote for Kanye? Yeah no, yeah, no. Black people will change their vote, right? Nope. Now, one person that was going to vote for Biden is going to change his vote to Kanye. Well, you know who doesn't come up in any of the tabulations that they put on these shows are the secondary candidates. Uh, mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we don't know how Kanye did. We don't know how many votes he got. Hell, you know, there was a time when Alfred E. Newman used to get at least yeah. uh, <laughs> f- f- oh, yeah. 20,000 votes every election. I think oh, yeah. I voted for him. <laughs> One of my Facebook friends said Kanye got 60,000 votes across the whole country. Really? I remember he- George Wallace got like 20% of the vote in 1968. Yeah. Yeah, 19- 68, yeah. 68, yeah. You mean George Wallace, the comedian? No, George <laughs> Wallace, the Nazi. No, my uncle George Wallace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, um, there are stupid people out there. Are there? I mean, I guess there are people who just go, I don't like any of these people, so I'll just write in Alfred E. Newman. I mean, one year I went into the, this was years ago here in New York, I went into the uh, into the polling booth and, I guess it was, maybe it was senator, or governor, or something. And I looked at all of them and I said, "Oh, they're fucked." I said, <laughs> and I voted. I voted communist. <laughs> the communist candidate was on there. I voted communist, and the reason I did was not because I'm a communist, but because to begin with, I, I'd like to see somebody like that get a vote. Trying to be changed, know? huh? <laughs> change. Yeah. yeah, I'm voting for change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I may not like it, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> hey, Alex, you, you remember Paul Kangas? Does that name ring a bell? No, he's a, some guy in San Francisco that every year he runs for something. You know, I mean, if it's not the president, or I mean, you, or it's like usually a local thing or something. You know, mm-hmm. he's just like a local San Francisco gadfly, but. But I mean, he does all his, all his uh, you know, campaigning all by himself, you know, like, I mean, like his, his campaign signs will be like a, the bottom of a cardboard box, you know, with a Sharpie. Football. <laughs> <laughs> the town he never I grew- gives up. He's always on the ballot. Yeah. The town I grew up in and, and worked in for over 30 years was corrupt politically. Mm. And, 
At one point, we actually elected a mayor who was in the federal penitentiary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And Before, I'll tell you another After thing. or during? No, he was already there. <laughs> and he was in, he was very corrupt and very connected. And who was the candidate? It might have been Dukakis. No, no, no. It was McGovern. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Our mayor was in a penitentiary in Minnesota. And McGovern that year only won Minnesota. Yeah. And the running joke was because our mayor made a few phone calls that that's why he won. But it's a known fact that more votes go to the person in the old days with the machines on the top line. Like that was the primo place to be mm -hmm. because there are some assholes that just go in and, you know, hit the lever on the top line. Well, you may notice there is no top line now for, no, the, for no, president. Right. They're the side by side. Was. They're side by side. Yeah. Well, what they used to do is they used to draw ping pong balls to see which candidate got the top line. So the corrupt mayor used to put his ping pong ball in the freezer and put it in the bag so that when they reached in, they would feel the cold one, pull it out, say, oh, look, Mayor Musto drew line A again. And he invariably was on the top line every single time. Oh, really? election. Oh. Now, that's that's fixing an election, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. 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 No, I mean, uh, um, now it seems like they just side by side. And if, yeah. if there are yeah. 10 of them, they'll put them side by side. You know? Probably for that reason. Well, I mean, I don't know why. Any, you're right. People will vote for the first thing on top over sure. the second thing. You know. Sure. Uh, boy. Well, who knows? Probably when we do this show tomorrow, we will have a pretty solid idea of who's going to be our next president. Um, I think still we're all sitting here going, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even though it looks, you know, reasonably, if I had to make a vote, I, a, a vote, a bet, I would bet on Biden. Sure, you but know. it could go wrong. Unless I really wanted to make a lot of money. There was a guy who, um, in England, who bet $5,000 on Trump mm -hmm. because the odds were so high that he was going to lose that he figured if he won, he would make, I think they decided he'd make like twenty. Twenty thousand so. dollars. Vegas took more Trump money than Biden money for just that reason. Really? Yeah. So, can you assume that if it, you know when they go, oh, here are the Vegas odds, blah 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 blah, <laughs> that if the Vegas odds are high for a particular person, it's maybe because they believe they're going to lose, and that yes. the odds are higher yeah. that they're going to get a better payoff if they win. Here's my lesson in one minute flat: Vegas doesn't set odds based on who they. Th think is going to win vegas right. sets odds based on trying to get an equal amount of money on I mean, both sides mm -hmm. because they collect the vigorous or the juice in between they in don't between, care who yeah. wins if right. they can get a million on this side and a million on that side they collect their 10 percent. they pay off the winners and they're happy so so, when so are the they, odds they so don't they're constantly changing the odds too right for that reason yeah. in order to attract yeah. money on the right. other side of the right. bet Wow. But they're not – like, if they say the 49ers are favored by six this weekend, they're not saying they're six points better. They're saying, based on that line, we think we can get equal money on both sides because when we do, we collect the commission. Oh, wow. wow. That's why they changed the odds. That's right. Well, yeah. I would – you would we would have all thought that maybe we'd be sitting here tonight saying, hey, how do you like the fact that so-and-so won or how bad do you feel that so-and-so won? But Tomorrow not to be, be better. not to like be. Them. Tomorrow night we may have a better picture Tomorrow. of it. They yeah, say all tough. this will be solved by Friday. What There's more ballots to be harvested. I yes. feel a lot better tonight than I did last night. Put away the raisins and blades. Absolutely. Not just because of the shingles. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you all for being here. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Where's Adrian tonight? Sleep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think she's out. Uh, oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, she doesn't want to make faces at us. Uh, 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 yes, uh, Charlie, thank you so much for being with us. Robert, good to see you tonight, old friend. Hope you're feeling better. Yes, thank you. And uh, uh, thank you, Jeff. Always good having you here. If your face isn't here, it just, I don't, I, it looks empty. 
Uh, John Larkin, thank you. Tony, always thank you. And uh, don't kill your mother tonight. And uh, of course, <laughs> thanks to Kevin. Kevin, always a pleasure having you here. All of you, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a wave goodbye at you. And uh, that'll be it for our citizen panel tonight. There they go. Uh, there'll be another citizen panel coming together here in just a few moments with Jack Bishop. He'll be here with the intersection. He'll be doing it on Skype. And you can Skype him at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night uh, not at 1030. Same time, same station and lights. And in the meantime, as always... If you see her, tell her I love her. And please, be safe out there. Wear a mask, will you? Okay? All right.